hear me guys i rely on my wife to wake me up and so today she decides she doesn't want to wake me up because i have an alarm clock and we have two cars so uh and i just we just purchased a new car so apparently she's puts it in her mind that she's gonna go ahead to work and let me drive the other car because it's late lady now we got two cars you want to act brand new come on help me now I'm struggling trying to get dressed trying to leave I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be gone I'm supposed to be on the way to work and I'm still trying to figure out what I'm wearing today about to be a chill day for real well I didn't chill the last two days I need to get my life together but I'm still late anyway Clearly I changed. I just said, let me throw on some easy, easy stuff so I can get out of here. And at least pretend like I'm coming to work on time. Anyway. Do y'all see, do y'all see this tag on election? I mean, I went to bed last night thinking that I'm gonna get up and find out who is my president and they still trying to count votes? What? Somebody tell me what is going on with our country right now. I don't ever feel like it took this long. I don't know, maybe maybe I'm new to the game, but it is what it is. Anyway, let's head out. just got to work late and just just a bit very quickly my wife calls me this morning she says um, where you at and I'm like I'm on the way she was like um, the front office looking for you and I was like okay my cell phone work you can't call me then I get to work and my co-teacher next door she asked me she said oh where were you she was at the front office asked me where you work and then I go across the hall to see the other attendance lady who, who is my good friend. She says, um, yeah, the front almost came looking for you. And I was like, they got, they asked for everybody but me. My cell phone starts at 804, and then there are other numbers that follow suit. Give me a call. God forbid I answer the phone to give you an answer. I mean, well, I'm praying for a successful day. I got a list of meetings starting at 8.20 going all the way until the end of the day. What is that, 2.30? Um, but already I can see irritation about to happen with all this extra stuff, but it is what it is. I'm a teacher. I work for the school county my best I can do this people are coming in you see you hear that clicking in the background that's my students coming in to our morning meeting oh look at him I ain't seen him in a while probably because I got him in trouble in that parent teacher meeting <laughs> you ought to do your work okay bet you're gonna be doing your work this time anyway uh let me go ahead and attend to my first block I they got to check in I got to give them their assignment and then let them go Today's gonna be an easy day. All right, to Talu. Can I be honest with you? I'm getting so overwhelmed with teaching. I'm like this close to tears. That's how frustrated I am. I'm so frustrated with everything going on, all of this planning getting my classroom together, figuring out how I'm gonna teach. Knowing this, I still gotta set up my classroom differently. Dang, you printed that wrong. I'm just, I'm overwhelmed, guys. I'm overwhelmed. This is so tough. This is really tough. Monday, Thursday, and one for Tuesday, Friday. Because your Monday, Thursday, you like to do one odd kids, and then your Tuesday, Friday would be your one week kids. Okay? So you only have to do two lesson plans, and going forward, that's all you're gonna have to do. So 
I'm on my way home. For real, for real. Like, I don't even feel like vlogging no more today. I just want to edit this video, post it, and just move on for the rest of the day. Just kind of like chill, watch TV, relax. I mean, it's been one of those days, you know. I'm really just, I'm really starting to pray harder about my career path and, you know, what's going to happen. That is all. I said I was going to end the vlog, but I decided I needed to work out and I wanted to take you with me because I haven't worked out in a while. You know, I got to get, I got to get back to my workouts. Got to. I complained a lot. You heard it throughout the vlog. Um, I'm sorry. I, you know, I'm grateful for my job. I'm grateful to have a job. And I'm, I'm grateful to do what I do. Because uh, I am passionate about working with kids and I love it. Uh, I'm good at what I do, to be honest. Uh, it's just the behind the scenes it was, is what makes it difficult. Um, I'm pouring a lot into my students. A lot of love, care, comfort, peace, joy, all of that that I have that God has given me, I'm pouring it into my students and I'm grateful for that opportunity. If he did not want me to do what I've been doing for the last six years, he would have prevented me to do it. These last six and a half years in the classroom, I've learned a lot. I'm gonna be optimistic moving forward. I'm gonna change my thinking. I'm gonna change the way I view education. And I'm just gonna keep pushing forward and doing what God has called me to do. And I'm gonna try to stay in his will, in his perfect will for my life. So at the end of the day, God, whatever you want from me, let it be. As always, give someone a hug, give somebody a call, give somebody a high five, tell somebody you love them and tell them that you care. That may be the only time they hear it, feel it, see it, what have you. And I love you guys for watching. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram, please. All right, I will catch y'all in the next video tomorrow, which will be day five. All right, I love y'all. Peace.